Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you would have seen Luke explore the theme, draw near for the first week of prayer. But if you didn't manage to catch it, you can do so on this channel. Why not like the video and subscribe to the channel for some more great life-giving content. I've got the joy of exploring a bit more of the second theme for week two of 21 days of prayer, which is prepare the way. To prepare for something usually means to get ready or to make arrangements for an event or an occasion that's about to come. And we see this term used in the book of Isaiah as God tells his people that there will be someone who will prepare the way for the Lord, Jesus. Then in the book of Matthew, we see the fulfillment of these words that John the Baptist will be the one to prepare the way for the coming of Jesus and seeing his glory being revealed in the earth. The words God spoke in Isaiah are quite incredible and are really applicable for all of us today as God desires for his glory to be revealed in us and through us as his children in the earth. The words God spoke in Isaiah chapter 40 verses 3 to 5 give a great picture of how we can do this as it reads, a voice of one calling, in the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up and every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And we can understand this as having to prepare a way in our hearts but with this amazing truth, sometimes it can be difficult to grasp and to see how God can do this. One way he says he will do this is through raising up every valley in our lives, as Isaiah reads. Now you may be wondering, what does a valley have to do with me? Well, a valley can represent something in your life that says you are less than who God calls you to be. Or it could be something that stops you from living in the great purpose that God has for you. A valley is something God wants to raise up. And sometimes this could look like God raising things up that deal with or address some of our insecurities or our doubts or even our worries. God desires for these things to be lifted up to him in prayer. God wants us to bring these things to him in prayer and wants us to know that we are not defined by our doubts or even our worries, but we can be defined by who he has called us to be. Another way that we can prepare a way for the Lord in our hearts is by trusting in him through the challenges we face in this world. Isaiah talks about mountains and sometimes the situations around us can feel like huge mountains that cannot be moved. They can stop us from seeing God at work in our lives. But as verse three says, every mountain and hill can be made low. God wants us to know that he is with us in every challenge we may face. He is the one who can change our circumstances and he can cause every mountain in our lives to be moved. As Pastor Martin shared in his preach last Sunday, it can be in the challenges we face and in the difficulty of our lives where God can do his greatest work in us and through us as we prepare the way for him to be king of our hearts. As we make him king of our hearts and prepare the way for our God during this time, be encouraged that he always desires to show himself in us and through us as his children in the earth. He has promised that the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all of his people will see it together.